Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're heading up Kalapatar. Unfortunately, Jeremy woke up not feeling 100%, so he's gonna be better safe than sorry. Took some Diamoxin, he's gonna chill for the day. But I am not alone. I am with... Frederick. Frederick, the red man. <laughs> and not only that, look at our views at this moment. So I'm not sure, but I think that tall boy right there where the clouds are right here, I think that is the top of Mount Everest. That's our first view of it, baby. Is that mountain range beautiful or what? Woo! Wow, check this out. We just crested that little hill and look what was waiting for us. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, not you, Frederick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you too. I mean, I guess there's two gorgeous things in the shot. Exactly. <laughs> and also, as you can probably tell, it did snow last night, so there's some snow on the ground. Luckily, the trail is still easily distinguishable. And it's getting a little hard to breathe. Ooh, that sun's starting to heat up. Ah, I'm take this jacket off. Maybe the gloves too. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Woo! Yeah, that's much better. Woo, shake it out. It's crazy. Even though the temperature is kind of low, there's snow on the ground, and we're like at one of the highest points in the world, that sun is so intense, it just heats you up right when it comes out. Not to mention how bright it is. I should have brought some sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> the nudity yeah, warning. Warning, warning in your YouTube. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that will be five dollars for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you ten. You get ten. <laughs> Well, the clouds rolled back in over the uh, mountains that were in front of our tea house last night. But that's okay. The last couple days when we've had views in the morning, it started to get a little cloud cover for about an hour, and then the view started coming back. So when we get to the top of Kalapatar, we're just going to sit up there for a while and enjoy it. Enjoy what we've earned. Man, this is just getting steeper. This is me looking straight ahead. And that's what we're going up. Woo. <laughs> That's how it sounds like. I would get a bunch of those cool walking shots that I normally get, but I don't want to set the camera up, walk up it, walk back down to pick up the camera, and then walk back up again. <laughs> Sorry guys. How you feeling, Frederick? I'm feeling good, feeling fresh, but as you said, it's really easy to get winded. Like even just by talking, it's... Yeah. Yeah, it takes a bit of energy. Yeah, we've been pretty quiet on the way up, except yeah. for when we stop for our breaks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we just passed a gentleman and his guide who were coming back down from Kalapatar. They said they left at 3 a.m and Nike heights up to the top, so they probably got some great views this morning. But that's just not something you want a chance if you don't have a guide who knows his way in the dark while it's snowing. There's no way I, want I would chance that. But they just told us we have about 180 more meters to go before we reach the top. Which doesn't sound like a lot. <laughs> Woo! You can really feel it. <laughs> what the heck are you doing up here, bud? He's just <laughs> looking for cuddles. Way up here? In one of the highest places in the world. Yeah. 
just felt like a early morning walk up a mountain. Yeah, I think he's the same one who followed us yesterday. He's got to be. It is. I can I can recognize it. Like it has a bit of red eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's the same. He had to have follow, followed up one of the other groups. And then just turned around. It's like, I ain't waiting up there. Well, looks like he's coming with us. I was not expecting to see a pup up here. Much less the same one that followed us all, all day yesterday. <laughs> what are the chances of that? All right, those guys right there were staying in our lodge last night. And they just let us know that the peak that we're going to, Kalpatar, is right there. That little pillar. That's our goal. Almost there. Almost there. This will be the highest or second highest point that we'll get to on our trek. As of now, it'll be the highest point. This is higher than base camp. This is higher than almost all the other spots. There's one spot if we get to cross the pass that will be higher up. But other than that, this will be our peak. We made it. <laughs> all right, man. You made it up. Yeah, that was a nice walk. <laughs> well, it's like 5,500 something meters. Yeah, 5,500. What would it be in feet? Too high. Too high. <laughs> Too high. Yeah, that's, that's the truth. Yeah, we're up there. Yeah. Oof. Much better. Woo, look at this. Frederick was just pointing out how steep this other side is. Then we looked up, and I actually think that is the peak of Kalapatar. So, a little bit further, that's not too bad. We're going to take a rest here real fast in our warm gear. Then we'll hit that peak. Hopefully it'll clear up a little bit, and we'll get some good shots from up there. In the meantime, Frederick's going to make a snowman. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the perfect snow for it. That pack's yeah, great. Yeah, it's really good. Look at that oh. skilled craftsmanship. Yeah. That's what the Danish have. They're known for their snowman building. <laughs> Check it out. It's starting to snow a little bit, but we're starting to see a little bit more of the mountains. And you can see the weather equipment up there on top of the uh, the peak we're gonna hike up to. Woo! <laughs> wow, can you guys hear that? That's an avalanche. Oh, that is not a good sound to hear. It does not make you feel comfortable. All right, guys, the snow is starting to pick up now. Doesn't look like it's going to get any clearer than what it is, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and climb up the peak just to say we did it and then start heading down. Unfortunately, we didn't get the views we wanted, but hey, we still made it to the highest point of our trek thus far. Exactly, and it's nature. You yeah, can't, decide everything. can't control nature. Welcome to the top. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> Officially at the top of Kalapatar. Woo! Come here, Frederick. All right, as much as I would like to sit up here and enjoy this spot for a while and just chill, it's starting to snow more and more, which means there's more snow on the rock on the way down, which means it's more slippery, 
which means it's more dangerous. So unfortunately, we're gonna make the safety call and start, start our descent now. But man, am I glad we made it up here. Highest point I'll probably ever be in my life. Woo! <laughs> All right, Frederick's already got the head start on me. Gotta catch him. Well, maybe not. This shows you how fast weather changes. We just got done walking down the little Kalapatar Peak and look what opened up behind me. Woo! It's starting to open up again. So, I guess we're staying a little longer. Oh, the weather here is just so unpredictable. It changes by the 10 minutes. Like every 10 minutes, it's something different. You never know. And it looks like it might clear up a little. There's some blue sky, so I guess we're gonna hunker down a little longer. One of the big things I wanted to get out of this trip was to get an appreciation for the sheer scale of some of these mountains. And I really think I'm getting that right now because we are up high right now. But those, those are on another level. Those are a good 3,000 meters higher than we are right now. It's just insane to think about. You feel, you feel very small up here. Okay, making my descent for real this time. The snow and the sleet is starting to come down a little heavier again. Frederick was starting to get a little bit of a thumping headache, so he started heading out about five minutes ago. I was gonna stay a little bit longer, but with the snow getting coming down a little more, I just don't wanna chance it, so I'm gonna head back down and see how Jeremy's doing. Hopefully he's doing better. If he is, we might hit Everest Base Camp today. If not, we're gonna take it easy and probably hit it tomorrow. One thing's for sure though, going down, so much easier than going up. <laughs> I'm gonna fly through this. Like right when you left, it started snowing a little harder and I was like, and I'm out. Yeah, I saw like it was only like two minutes after something. Yeah, it was like five minutes I was up yeah, there and it's like nope. Small peak there again. It's peeking through, trying to come out. Yeah, they're really trying. Much easier going downhill than up though. Yeah, big fan of that. Already almost down. There's Gorok Shep right there in the distance. Right there. Whew. Yeah, even though going down is much easier than up, I'd be lying if I said it still didn't wind me. The air's just so thin here. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're going down or up, you're gonna get winded. A lot worse if you're going up, but still going down takes your breath away. And actually check it out, down here towards the bottom, there's little spaces that are opened up. So we got a little bit of an open clearing till we get back. And there we go, Kalapatar, check. Hey. Hey. How you feeling? Uh, I feel better than I did in the middle of the night. Um, still not 100%, but I feel good. Good. Yeah. We'll just take another day here. Take it easy. Yeah. Probably a smart, smart decision. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get some food? Yeah. I don't know what kind of food, but yeah, definitely need to get some food.
it's okay to eat like this here. I'm gonna burn it off before the day's over anyways. And I kinda enjoy eating like this, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, everyone, it has been snowing and raining off and on for like the last two hours, so base camp is not happening today, plus Jeremy's still not 100%, so we are staying here one more night. We'll be up at base camp tomorrow, and yeah, we're just going to chill for the rest of the night, so I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, go down low, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you there for base camp tomorrow. Till next time, see ya. Peace. Woo!